Hey folks, welcome to Market Technical Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today being Thursday, March 27th, 2008. As we get into today's video, we're going to just kind of focus out on what's going on on the overall picture of the market here as we get into the uh, last trading day of the week, tomorrow, Friday. And it looks like we're setting up and continuing to set up just like we had hoped. And again, we talked over the last few days about the uh, market needing to consolidate. And if this is the third day of consolidation, which is a thing of beauty, because you really, the, the more we can consolidate here without really breaking any downward trends, the better the blast off will be should it happen. All right, and it does look like the charts are setting up for that, so we're going to get into that pretty quickly here uh, and talk a little bit about it. But first, let's just go over the markets today. The Dow closed down 120 points, or about 1%. The Nasdaq dropped about 43.5 points, or 1.9%. And the S&P was down about 1.2%, or 15.5 points. Now, again, we talked about the massive move off the lows we've seen lately and how you had to have this pullback or pause in the markets. And uh, it looks like that's what we're getting. So let's focus in on the charts here. Let me get out my trend tool so we can draw a little bit on the charts. And that's one of the beautiful features about this software. And you can see today was one of the choppiest trading days we've seen in a while. And the weirdness, weird thing about this market was that most things had no relation to any moving averages. Uh, we had big moves up, and then we had big moves down, and very rarely did it actually coincide with any of these moving averages holding a support or resistance. And what I mean by that is, well, here you can see a nice little, uh, yeah, you can even see a little bit of a W pattern here, which rests right on that moving average, which is the 50 moving average, the blue line here, and then the blast off. But that was really going into the uh, the market's opening here on the GDP. We actually got GDP and, and jobless claims this morning. Uh, I think it was initial claims, and those actually you know, put forth a better foot for the market. And you saw the nice rally in the futures here. But after that, that was pretty much it. You had a nice double top formation in the markets, and you can see that beautifully. And that was great resistance to short. I mean, that's one of the few uh, technical patterns in the market that worked today. And what you saw here after that topping out is just the market started to roll faster, 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 and then really come down hard. And obviously, we see here a beautiful bottoming tail. And you guys know that's a buying signal like like no other. And what you really want to see in that buying signal is you want to see a break of the high of the previous candle. So here we see it, take it out. It actually retraced down, so you actually had to keep a little bit of a stop in there. Obviously, you'd have your stop below here on that play. And then off to the race as it goes finally to the upside. You had it pause right around this, this uh, triple uh, moving average period here. And you can see the 50, the 200, and the 20 all coming together right in this area. But it was just a minor pullback before another blast off. And then you had a topping tail. And the beautiful topping tail there, the next candle had another topping tail. When you get two confirming topping tails and you and you finally break the lows of those topping tails, great shorting opportunity, guys. And look at the fall that ensued, cutting right through all the moving average there is there. And, and that's why I mentioned that. Uh, as we got into the later afternoon series, it got you know crazier and crazier. You can see the bounce back up, up into that triple necktie again, and then blast it back down to close near the lows of the day in the market. And right after hours, you got a little bit of a bounce in the futures, and we have tra trailed or trickled back higher. So nonetheless, a wild day from the whip standpoint. Uh, it was just every which way, ultimately, with a downward trend. And you can see that here as you just draw a line, uh, taking the middle sections of every move like this and just draw it straight through. And you can see the trend was definitely down today as the markets did close lower. But on the daily chart, this is continuing to set up for what we think is going to be the next blast off. And we've been dead on. And uh, I'll show you guys something pretty unique here in a second uh, as we get into things. And the one thing I do want to show here, guys, which is just shows you how accurate we are on these calls, is in yesterday's daily market report, which, by the way, everyone should be reading, um, and that's published on the website, and it comes out around uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock every evening on, the, on InTheMoneyStocks.com, uh, our chief, uh, chief strategist and technical an, uh, analysis uh, guru, basically did research and, f and basically mentioned that the, uh, the S&P was going to be coming down possibly today to support at 1326. And right here, check this out. Where did we close today? 1325.66. Uh, the accuracy in his calls are unparalleled in the industry. Uh, whether you're an institution, whether you're an individual, the, these calls are unparalleled. So I just want to point that out is that those of you that read the Daily Market Report yesterday saw that he had mentioned watch for the key level of support at 1326 
And sure enough, we closed within 0 .34, 0 .34 of his number. Uh, and, and you can't get more accurate than that. So a beautiful call, and I just want to give him credit for that And uh, as we get into the more analysis here. Now let's focus in on the uh, daily SPY. Uh, remember yesterday, I, tr I showed everyone a key line here, which was the 20 moving average. All right, And here I'm just drawing a line there, but you can all see it pretty much with the yellow. And on the NASDAQ, I'll show you the same thing. So let's flip to the NASDAQ daily chart. Here's the key level again, right here, the 20 moving average. And you remember yesterday, we talked about how we were calling for the pause and the pullback. And we said this line here is a good line to come back to because it's a nice retracement. It's solid support now. Um, and that's where you're going to look to see uh, possibly take a long position coming into this market, maybe starting next week. Um, and that still looks, like, looks to be exactly what we want to see. You see the NASDAQ? Look at the monster run here a blast off like that then you'd ideally want to see a pullback we pulled back to this point now can we get another consolidation day I mean it's up in the air I, I, ideally we would want to see maybe a, just a touch of that and then off to the races to the upside as a possibility so we're going to continue to watch that line um, it is setting up just like we've been talking about it the play by play that we've been expecting has been coming to pure perfect fruition and we'll continue to monitor it so let's go back to the SPY you can see that same type of pattern is on the NASDAQ right here as it moved up right into the 50 moving average and is now pulling back to the 20. And the SPY is actually resting just above the 20. So we're going to see where this takes us. Do we have a pullback or a pause tomorrow morning and then a late day Friday rally? Or does it pause until Monday or Tuesday and then off to the races? But again, as we've choreographed this all along, so far so good. When everyone was uh, uh, you know, hightailing it out of the market on Bear Stearns right here, we, we were basically going out on a limb and saying watch for the rally and sure enough, rally proportions then we call the pullback here so in any case watch for those key levels and the next move up uh, once you uh, do have that move up which we do expect to come you're gonna watch for the top here which is a double top actually on the SPY and that should be definite resistance there's definitely gonna be a resistance point right there you're gonna wanna sell probably at least take half the profits if not everything wait for the pullback and then we'll reanalyze that on the downside as we always talk you really wanna see the market uh, you know you don't want to see it break this level down here. It could dip intraday to touch there. Uh, if it breaks there, it's very likely we could see the lows tested again, at which point we'll have to watch for the downside. So there's obviously different scenarios, but right now we're definitely favoring the upside without a doubt, as you guys obviously know from the past videos that you've been watching. And we do appreciate your viewership. We, we really do. It means a lot to us, and we appreciate it. All right, guys. So let's talk a little bit more about... Uh, daily let's see what I can see on the NASDAQ chart we just talked briefly about the NASDAQ as we flip back to it and again we'll take away that line you see the blast off the pullback here and now where could the NASDAQ go when we take off well I think it's going or we think it's going at least to here uh, possibly even higher you're gonna have a pretty good size rally uh, on the next leg up usually the second rally is the biggest uh, oftentimes in this type of situation so watch for that on the downside you want to see uh, the market pause right around here I, uh, we wouldn't want to see it really break below this area, although it very well could. The next level would be right here at the lows, and if it broke this line here, then you're looking at a possible move to the lows again on the NASDAQ and a break lower. And that still may happen. There's two scenarios, and I mentioned this. You have Elliott Wave analysis done by the key uh, strategist that I mentioned before, and he's basically seeing right now is that the, the daily chart has showed that we have had two uh, five, five wave pattern down down right now. And the key here is the weekly is not confirming it. So the weekly is not confirming that we've reached the bottom yet, but the daily is. So the question will be, does the larger time frame, as we always say, have dominance over the smaller time frame? And how does that come to fruition? Do we see that next move down because of that? Or does the daily actually take precedent here? Ultimately, uh, in, in our opinion, we wouldn't be shocked to see another shoe drop and a break of those lows but we really have to continue to really watch closely on these charts because things will change every day every close of every day is a new piece of the puzzle and we have to continue to follow it now stocks let's talk some stocks here I know you guys are all into the stocks the NURO I mentioned yesterday people closed that out as it moved right into the 20 moving average this was a buy in the chat room at a 166 closing it out to, uh, I closed it out yesterday personally at 191 excuse me 196 from 166 so 30 cents right there some people waited to the push over two dollars today again you're talking about 20 percent profits there the Z view uh, Z V U E which we talked about the other day and we closed that out uh, right before earnings we never hold a plane to earnings we closed it out right here on this nice push 
Uh, that was a 30% profit. Uh, we called GRRF on the rally from here to here and said it was going to retrace back to there. It did that too. We've been on a great streak on these smaller stocks. Jade, another one. We talked about this this morning. It ran beautifully today. You can see the move it had today. We basically called it at the open because of a, of a sector area we were seeing in some of the Chinese plays that had to do with the same thing that JADE had to do. And look at that run there. You're talking about uh, from a 270 to 320, 50 cents on a $2.50 stock. Tremendous. So I do encourage everyone to come join the chat room. The e-mini calls continue uh, in this choppy market, as tough as it will be. Uh, we're still doing those e-mini calls, and uh, come join us. Come join the swing trade alerts and the options alerts. All right, folks, enough for today. We'll be back tomorrow with another piece of the puzzle. Have a wonderful evening, and come join InTheMoneyStocks.com and start learning the pure technical analysis.